guys happy thursday this video should be going up on thursday i'm filming it like a week in advance so hopefully it's going up on um thursday but i'm filming a get to know me all about me video i hit 23 subscribers the other day which is really cool i'm actually really happy about that and um yeah i figured this would be a good way for you guys to get to know me a little bit better now i just googled random get to know me questions on my mom's iPad. I filmed my phone so I couldn't use my phone to look at the questions. So I'm going to answer them and if there are any stories, I will tell you guys them and yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so do you have any pets? I do have pets. If you follow me on Snapchat, occasionally uh, I do post them, but I don't post them very often, but apparently, rarely, occasionally I do. I have like a 100,000 pictures of them. I just never post them. I don't know why, I just don't. What's the weather like right now? Well, I think it's like 20 something degrees outside and it's snowy and icy and nasty and gross and I hate it. What was the last movie you saw? The last movie I saw was Blade Runner, the new one, and I actually hated it. If you follow me on Snapchat again, uh, I ranted about it. I did not like it at all. It was kind of boring and I just, I wasn't about it. Uh, what is your ringtone? I think my ringtone is just the default apple ringtone i don't think it's anything special i think my mom and my best friend have special ringtones but i think everybody else is just like the default one have you ever been to a different country i have never left the continental u.s i don't travel very often do you like sushi i do not i don't like fish i don't like seafood like any of it i don't like it at all how many siblings do you have i have four siblings i have two older sisters and then i have two younger brothers i'm the middle child like literally i'm five years younger than my um youngest older sister and then i'm five years older than my um, oldest younger brother. So I'm literally smack dab in the middle. Do you have a desktop computer or a laptop? I have a laptop and it's an HP and I absolutely hate it. It is the worst computer I've ever had in my entire life. And I've had HPs in the past, but this one has just been a pain in my butt since I got it and I absolutely just, I don't like it. How old will you be turning on your next birthday? I will be turning 19 on my next birthday. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like really shook. I look a lot older than 19, but I will be turning 19 on my next birthday. My birthday is May 21st. Do you wear contacts or glasses? I wear glasses and they're actually sitting right here. These are my glasses. And I actually like these frames a lot. And I know a lot of people create like makeup looks to go with their glasses. I just wear the same makeup. Like I will just go out like this. Like I personally don't mind it. Do you color your hair? Um, I actually just did for the first time two days ago. I um just highlighted it. And I highlighted it blonde, as blonde as I could go. And you can kind of see it a little bit on the side of my head, but yeah. Tell me something you were planning to do today. I am planning on going and getting my textbooks for my second semester of college today. And, um, yeah. What is your perfect pizza topping? I actually am such a picky eater. Like, I'm the world's pickiest eater. And I will only eat cheese pizza. Like, that's it. I will not eat sausage or pepperoni or, like, anything. Only cheese is for me. Which do you prefer, hamburger or cheeseburger? I don't like cheeseburgers at all, so hamburgers. What is your eye color? My eye color is blue. If you can... See that? My eyes are blue. Can you taste the difference between Pepsi and Coke? I personally can. I know the difference between Pepsi and Coke, and people try to fool me all the time. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? Oh. I would probably get work done. Like, I would probably do homework. If I had homework to do, I'd probably, like, clean, you know, film, edit videos, things like that. I'd just do work. What's your favorite piece of clothing you own? I really, really, really love leather jackets, but they're not like real leather. It's like the pleather, like the fake leather. And I have two of them. I have a black one, which has like a little belt across like the neck area, and I absolutely love it. And then I have a gray one, which has like this knitted fabric like right up across the top, and I absolutely adore it. My favorite shoes, I love booties. Like booties, I'm all about them. And my favorite hoodie is actually the one I'm wearing right now. It's my Dangerous Woman hoodie, if you can see that but it's my favorite hoodie what would your perfect room look like I don't know I really don't I would probably have it as like a neutral theme like white black and gray because like that's really all I wear are white black and gray like I really like neutral things what's your favorite drink um I, my favorite soda is Mountain Dew and I, even though it's terrible for your teeth I, I just I love it and I love coffee but I don't like black coffee it has to be like flavored and I really like frappuccinos from Starbucks. 
Uh, my university actually has like a Starbucks in it and I always get caramel or vanilla bean frappuccinos. And over the winter, I got peppermint mochas, which are like awesome. Are you usually early or late? I'm usually early to like everything. If I have like a meeting, I'm always like 15, 20 minutes early. And if I have like an appointment, I'm like 15 minutes early. Now, if I'm going to like a friend's house and they're like, oh, be here by eight, but we're not like going anywhere, I'm probably gonna be late. But if we're going to like see a movie, I'll be early. What pets did you have while you were growing up? I had a ton of pets when I was growing up. Like I had different types of pets. I had cats, I had dogs, I had bunnies for a while. I had birds. I had hamsters once, I had a rat once, I had guinea pigs, I had a lot of fish, like I had a ton of different things. I had a turtle once, which was really cool. I had a frog, I've had like a ton of things. When people come to you for help, what do they usually want help with? They usually want my help with, if it's not makeup related, they want my help with making a decision about something, which is, it depends on like the problem. But like, if it's like a really big problem, sometimes I can be really indecisive, but other times I can be like, no, this is my decision and that's what I'm going to stick to. What takes up too much of your time? School. Takes up way too much of my time. What are some small things that make your day better? Um, I think when anybody compliments you, anybody, it makes your day automatically better. But I think when somebody leaves a comment on one of my videos or they DM me asking about a video or requesting a video or I get a new subscriber, that's like, it's like the smallest thing but it makes me so happy because I make videos for fun and that people want to watch them. It's just like, it's awesome. It's, I don't think you know the feeling unless you like make something yourself or like somebody comes to you for something specific, but it's like super, super cool. And honestly, it's like one of the best things ever. And I've connected with so many people through the internet, not only because of like my, vi uh, my videos that I make, but because of like, celebrities I support or follow or I comment on somebody's new album or something like that I've met so many people and connected with so many different people and I actually think a couple of you are some of those people and it's like super super cool and there's a bug flying around I keep looking at it but <laughs> I, it's like super cool and yeah all right who's your go-to band or artist when you can't decide on something to listen to oh I have a lot um I listen to music every day for hours like for hours on hours and if you follow me on snapchat I post what song I'm currently listening to all the time. And you guys seem to really enjoy, you know, seeing what I listen to. I have a hair flying away. And um, so I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> if uh, it annoys you to skip over my story. But the first one is probably Ariana Grande. Hint, the sweatshirt. I really like uh, Daughtry, Panic Disco, <sighs> James Maslow, my bae, uh, <laughs> Jake Miller. They're all really, really good. Um... Ed Sheeran recently has been like one of my favorites and yeah I just have like a ton I have like almost 2,000 songs in my iTunes library so if you follow me on snapchat you can get a little sneak peek of what I'm currently listening to and have my feelings about them but yeah what shows are you into um my ongoing show that I am like currently obsessed with is Riverdale and I am so obsessed and it comes back well next week the day I'm filming this but it already came back the day this goes up so I'm really really excited and some shows that are over that I really like are Friends. Friends is my favorite TV show of all time. I really like Dexter, Bates Motel. Oh my god there's so many so many. Uh, Netflix. The Crown on Netflix is everything everything i already finished season two what tv show or movie do you refuse to watch i refuse to watch the walking dead i have seen a couple episodes but it's just too gory for me i just don't like it so i don't i don't i don't i refuse to watch it what was the best book you've ever read i love to read so i read all the time my uh seat's crooked i read all the time and one of my favorite books i've ever read is ender's game I really like Lone Wolf, and I really like Running with Monsters by Bob Forrest. Uh, Running with Monsters is like about a drug addiction, and it's his drug, it's a memoir, and it really opens your eyes, and it's like super, super detailed, but it's amazing, and I highly, highly recommend it if you're looking for something like that, but I like Lone Wolf by Jodie Picoult, I like Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. My favorite book ever is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton, so all of those, amazing. What's the farthest you've ever been from home? Well, I went to California once, but I was really, really small and I don't remember, but yeah. 
What is the most annoying question that people ask you? I'm, like I said earlier, I'm five years younger than my youngest older sister. <laughs> and people ask me all the time if we are twins and we are not. But I'm asked that all the time. What could you give a 40 minute presentation on with absolutely no preparation? Well, counting, I can film a YouTube video over makeup and it'd take me an hour and a half. Anything makeup related because I usually have more than 40 minutes of footage and I just crop it down. Would you rather go hang gliding or rafting? I would rather go rafting. I'm afraid of heights and I just, that's not my thing. But I have been rafting before and it's super, super fun and I would love to do it again. What's worth spending more on to get the best? Uh... I really think anything beauty related. Sometimes you can, it takes more to get what is better. I have really sensitive skin, so a lot of things in the drugstore break me out and irritate my skin. So I have to buy more high end, especially uh, foundations and primers. They're like the biggest, biggest thing. I can use pretty much any lipstick, but eyeshadows, um, I have more high end palettes because they don't irritate my eyes. And, um, Skincare, a lot of drugstore skincare can irritate my skin, especially moisturizers seem to be like the most that irritate my skin. Perfumes uh, irritate my skin if they're like too cheap, I guess. Like sometimes they can really irritate my skin. Other times I can get one for like a dollar and it'd be fine. But other times I can pay like $10 for one and it's horrible. So I think like anything beauty related, especially face masks do it to me too. Um, just me personally. But uh, yeah. What is something that a ton of people are obsessed with, but you just don't get the point? Things that people are obsessed with. Um, a lot of people are obsessed with Mexican food, and I don't like Mexican food, so I guess that's it. What's the most interesting place you've ever been? I went to Washington, D.C., I think about two, three years ago, and it was super, super fun. I love museums. Oh, I'm such a dork, but I love museums, and there's just so much history museums there, and I'm a history geek, like I'm just a dork, and um, <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit that I'm a dork, and um, it was super, super cool. I saw the Washington Monument. I saw the Lincoln Memorial. I saw the Jefferson Memorial. I went to um, a ton of different places. I went to... Um, theaters. I went, it was just super, super cool and I loved it. How different was your life one year ago? Uh, my life wasn't completely all of that different, but it was different. I was still a senior in high school a year ago. I was freaking out about senior prom and graduation and all that stuff, even though my prom was until April. And I was, um, very, very, very concentrated on high school and not anything else and now I'm not really freaking out about anything <laughs> really I mean I have anxiety so I freak out about everything all the time but like I'm not freaking out about like a, like a certain event like things that are gonna happen I'm just kind of chilling you know minding my own business keeping to myself I have repaired some like bad awkward relationships within the past couple weeks which is really really nice I have apologized to people who I was a little bit mean to in middle school or who I thought we just didn't agree on we talked it out and it was super awesome what would you rate 10 out of 10 I would rate several things 10 out of 10 um death of a bachelor the whole album by Penny the disco 10 out of 10 uh dangerous woman the whole album by Ariana Grande 10 out of 10 um <laughs> the Too Faced chalk bar palette any of them, 10 out of 10. Um, sunny days with 75 degrees, 10 out of 10. Like, that stuff, yeah. What trend do you hope comes back? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I've never really been on trend. If anything was like super, super trendy and I got into it, it was like two or three years after the trend has faded. So I'm never ever on the bandwagon. I'm always super, super late. Like I'm catching the very last bus. Like <laughs> it's, uh, I'm never, I'm never really on anything. So I guess there's no, there's not really a trend that I wish would return. Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like trends come and they go and they always come back around. So like, you just kind of have to wait it out and wait for something. Do you enjoy art? Oh, I love art. Um, all types of art. I like theater. I don't like doing theater. Like, I don't like performing, but um, I'm just too shy. It's too awkward. I don't like it. But um, I like watching plays. I like watching musicals. I like 
orchestras are really cool like any type of art I love music art I love like actual like photographic art like I love photography I love drawings and paintings and like all of it sculptures I love all art and I went to an art museum I think about a year or two ago with my best friend and it was super 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 awesome and I had so much fun and I actually want to go back and it was super super cool like you got to see like all different types of art and it was awesome if I can say that one more time it was awesome and I know she watches my videos so I had a blast and yeah I just love art I'm like I said a dork why did you decide to make YouTube videos um well, <laughs> my YouTube story, I actually do kind of have a story. I think everybody does. If you decide to post a video on YouTube, you have a reason why. I created a YouTube channel. I actually have two channels. One's for music and one's for posting actual videos. So this is the one that I use all the time. The other one I hardly ever am on. But um, I created this channel years ago and I've always really loved filming and editing videos. It's just something I love to do. And I filmed videos and I actually posted them. But I got bullied for it at school and this was like elementary, middle school, early middle school. So I deleted the videos, I completely deactivated the YouTube account and like completely acted as if it never existed. And then I discovered like the beauty community years ago. I mean like this is probably my 8th grade middle school, freshman year of high school time frame. And I really got into it and I thought it was super, super awesome that like people could do this from all over uh, the world. And it was like super cool. Like it was just the whole concept was really cool. And I know a lot of people do it just because like people can get paid for it. Like I, I'm doing this because it's fun. Like I'm not doing it professionally, hence the background. Like I'm just doing it because it's fun. And um, I finally filmed a video and I was tempted to, I was too timid to post it and so I deleted it. Like I didn't post it and then I, last October, I finally filmed a new video and I posted it for the first time and that was like a huge thing for me. I really was really, really scared to post it. I was really even more scared to like share it on Facebook with my friends and family like I was really really scared but I've had a lot of positive feedback especially from people who know me like in real life a lot of people really like my videos and they like how I film and edit on my phone because it's just my phone like I don't have any equipment I use my phone and I use lights that I already have like in the room so like I don't have any equipment and I edit on my phone and so a lot of people like that and I don't know it was just really cool and that's why I decided to do it I do it because I like to and I love to edit and film videos and filming, even though filming t is sh shorter, it doesn't take me as long to edit, I enjoy editing a little bit more. Even though editing sometimes can be pain in the neck because I edit on my phone, so like it's a screen that's like this big, so it can be really, really difficult. It takes me two, three, or four hours to edit a single video. The other day I posted a video that was nine minutes and it took me like four and a half hours to edit it. And it was crazy long to take me to edit it, but it only took me like 40 minutes to film it. So, I mean, filming takes me a short amount of time, but I like to edit a lot more. And I think I'm figuring out iMovie on iPhone <laughs> a lot better than I did. Um, the iMovie on the phone is a lot different than, like, a computer. I've used iMovie on a computer before, and it's a lot easier. Let me tell you, it's so much easier. You have more options to choose from. But on the phone, you only have, like, a couple. So, I'm just kind of making it work. What's the best way a person can spend their time? I think the best way a person can spend their time, this is my introvert self-talking, is to be by yourself. And... I know a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't like being by themselves. And a lot of people think, like, if you're by yourself, it's, like, a bad thing. But I like to be by, by, by myself. I am more comfortable by myself. I do everything by myself. Like, I film and edit completely by myself. I, you know, I prefer to do things by myself. I don't really like to, you know, be around people too long because it just gets... It gets a little too much, but I like to be by myself, and I think that's just, like, the most important thing somebody can do for themselves is to be by themselves. Because I think a lot of people rely on so much on other people that when those people go away or they're not around, they, like, freak out. But, like, you need to learn how to be comfortable by yourself. Like, and I think it's just so, so important. Where is the most relaxing place you've ever been? I have been to the beach the ocean several times but when my family went to Orange Beach Alabama it was like super relaxed and chill we got a condo on the beach which was awesome if you're gonna travel I highly recommend it because one you have a washer and dryer in your room so you don't have to take back dirty laundry with you which is awesome and uh I'm a family of seven but six of us 
six people that I live with went. My oldest sister, my older sister didn't get to go because she had school, but my grandma went. So there were still seven of us going. And so in a condo, we had different rooms. Like in a hotel, you have one room and it's really, really crammed, especially with seven people. If you can get a room that can fit seven people, sometimes you have to split up. But, um, the condo, all seven of us could fit. There was two bathrooms, which is awesome when you're getting ready to go to the beach or something that way two people can be ready getting ready at the same time like we were super super spread out there was a kitchen and like if one of us wanted to go a bit early we could and we were on the first floor so we just open the door and go to the beach like it was amazing and i highly highly recommend that if you're going to travel it does cost a little bit more than a hotel but it was completely worth it would you rather be from i would rather be from england I love England. I love London. <laughs> like, it's just super, the history there is awesome. And I say awesome all the time, but um, the history there is super, like, interesting to me. And their accents are amazing. I love them. What are some things you've had to unlearn? When I was in high school, my sophomore or junior year, I took a math class. I can't remember if it was sophomore year or junior year. But I learned recently that my teacher actually taught us completely wrong so when I took a math class when I was in or this last semester in college it was completely backwards to me and I was like what like my mind just could not get wrapped around the fact that I was doing it wrong for like three years and so I had to completely unlearn that which was super super hard and I hated it what are you looking forward to in the coming months I'm looking forward to summer break that is nine 16 weeks away and my last day of school, I think is like May 4th or something like that. And I'm looking forward to that like no other. I hate school. It's just, it's so stressful and it takes so much of my time. And I'm in 18 credit hours this semester, so I'm not going to have like any extra time. So I'll try to post as often as I can, but um, it might be a little bit difficult. So just warning you now. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to summer. I'm not really doing anything this summer. I don't think, at least I don't know of right now. And I'm just looking forward to that. And my sister's wedding is in August, which is still my summer break. So um, I have a wedding to start planning. I'm the maid of honor. And I have a, a lot to do. But um, <laughs> have I started really doing anything? Um, a little bit. I think she watches my videos, so I can't, I can't give you any uh, spoilers. But uh, me and a couple of people, I'm like sitting awkward, a couple of people have started talking about things and yeah I'm really just trying to figure out the guest list because she obviously plans that all out but I don't know who's coming and um maid of honor needs to know these things and I'm trying I'm doing her makeup too for the wedding so I'm I've talked to my other sister about what the uh, makeup should look like because I'm thinking like something soft but a little bit sultry my sister she doesn't really like too dark or dramatic makeup so nothing dark I think something a little bit lighter this would be too dark for her but I think uh, something a little bit lighter a little bit fresher would do something so I might practice a couple wedding looks and post them to YouTube I don't know yet but stay tuned <laughs> what website do you visit most often oh god um <laughs> My entire life is practically spent on the internet. <laughs> I'm kidding, but like really. Um, I am on Instagram all the time, even though there's like nothing new ever posted because I'm on it so often. I am on Instagram all the time. I'm on Twitter all the time. And Snapchat's not really a website, but it does use data. So um, I'm posting on Snapchat a lot more recently. I've had a story every day for the past week, which is weird because I would go like months without posting on my story. What one thing do you really want but can't afford? I really want one of those really, really, really nice uh, cameras to record with. I really want one of those. Um, I think it's like the Canon XD or something like that. It is like a thousand, like five hundred dollars, but it's like the best camera ever. And like if you watch any beauty YouTuber or like really anybody, they all use it and it, their videos always look so good. It's like an auto focusing camera. It handles like lighting, like you can ha like change lighting on it and it, it literally does like everything and it, it is so awesome but like it's so expensive. Like <laughs> I can't afford it. Where do you usually go when you have time off? Um, from school? <laughs> I am always home and if I'm not at home, I'm at my best friend's house. Where would you spend all your time if you could? I would spend all my time if I could. Um, 
if in a makeup store, I would spend all my time there because it's just, I love it so much. And if not that, I would spend it outside if it never got cold because right now it's just too cold to be outside, which is a big frown. I like being outside, but it's too cold. And yeah, what was the best compliment you've ever received? Um, this one's kind of weird. But I was in dance class. I've taken dance classes often on my whole life. And I was in dance class. This was my sophomore year of high school. And there was one guy in our dance class. And this class was like an actual high school class. It was called dance performance class. And we would meet, you know, every day in the gym. And we would practice and learn and stuff like that. And there was one guy in our class, apart from our uh, teacher. And my nose is so itchy right here. There was one guy in our whole class. And... Um, we were sitting in, the whole class was sitting in the green room right before our winter recital, I believe. And I was sitting like on this table and we were waiting for our teacher to come in and, you know, talk with us and be like, all right, this is it, you know, chant, do our little thing. And, um, he looks at me and goes, you know, you're really funny. And I thought that was like the best compliment ever because I never really spoke to this guy like ever. And I think I've maybe said two words to him and he was just like, you know, you're really funny. And I was like... Oh, thank you. You know, like, I've never really spoke to you, but that is so nice. <laughs> and, um, I am, I think I'm funny. Like, I think I'm kind of funny, but I think everybody thinks their self is funny, but I can make people laugh. And sometimes it's inappropriate, like Chandler or Friends, if you guys know that show. Um, it's like, can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? Like, that's, that's me. Like, <laughs> I will say something sarcastic and most of the time it's at the wrong time that it makes people laugh. So, I'm not a very serious person when things go wrong but like I like to think I'm serious but I'm really not but um <laughs> yeah I got it was like you're you're super funny and I thought that was like the best compliment ever and I still think about that to this day so if you're watching I still think about that so what do you wish your brain was better at doing um I wish my brain was better at remembering things I have a really 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 bad problem at forgetting things I'm really really forgetful if I don't write it down I will forget and um I will say things like five or six times before I realize I've already said it. And uh, it's a terrible, terrible problem. I'll be like in the store and somebody will be like, oh, go get the cheese. And I'll be like, oh, where am I going? Like, cheese. Like, and it's such a bad thing. And people will be like, oh, do you remember this? And I never, ever do. <laughs> and it's, it's such a bad thing because I don't remember like anything. <laughs> and like, it's, it's horrible. But like when I do remember something, I remember it like really, really well. But when I don't, I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, that happened. Like, okay. But I, I have a terrible, terrible memory. What is one of your favorite smells? Anything vanilla scented, I like. That's just anything vanilla. What song or artist do you like but rarely admit to liking? <sighs> I'm fine with my iTunes library because I post it, like I said, all the freaking time. So there is really nothing for me to hide. But, um, an artist I rarely admit, or a song I really, I rarely admit to liking is Sorry by Justin Bieber. I never admit to liking that song, but I do like it, and I don't know why, I just don't. What would be some of the most annoying things about having yourself as a roommate if you were the complete opposite version? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm really organized. Like, really, really organized. Like, to the point where... My Crayola box of crowns, they are color sorted, like that organized. And my color pencils are color sorted. And everything has its own proper place and everything must sit in that proper place or I like lose my cool. Like it's just unbelievable. And if I had myself as a roommate, that would drive me absolutely crazy. Like my closet is color sorted, but not only is it color sorted, it's sorted by like tank tops and dressy tank tops and like short sleeve shirts and dressy short sleeve shirts and like all of that and like it's I feel like if I had myself as a roommate like my college roommate I don't know how she does it like I don't know how she deals with my nitpicking at everything like everything has to be like clean and like everything has to be like its own spot like my books are like lined up alphabetically and like my my movies are too like I'm I'm super super organized and like I think my roommate likes that because whenever she needs something I always know where it is like I'm like oh that's right there like but I feel like if I was the complete opposite of myself I would be obviously a slob and like disorganized but I'm super super organized and like everything has its own spot and if I have like a paper like assignment or something it has a certain spot it will go and like the second I need it I know exactly where it is like it's it's a really bad habit like <laughs> I'm too organized I think sometimes 
What small gesture from a stranger made a big impact on you? Kind of like the whole... Alright, there's a couple. Um, <laughs> the first one is this one time me and my best friend were at Starbucks and the lady in front of us paid for our peppermint mochas and that was super, super nice and I think about that all the time. So, thank you. <laughs> and um, another one is one time I was at the fair with my mom and this was before I cut my hair. So, like, my hair is still really long. Like, it goes, if you can see that, it goes all the way down there. But um, I had long, like really long hair, like almost to my belly button hair. And um, the girl at the fair was like, oh my God, can I curl your hair? She's trying to curl, like uh, sell a curling wand. And so I was like, yeah, sure. She's like, oh my God, your hair is just so beautiful. Like, I love your hair. And I think about that all the time too. <laughs> and um, when people subscribe to my YouTube channel, they're, they're strangers, some of you. And um, that's, that's like, it's, it, it makes me really happy. So. I mean, it's kind of, I guess people would say it's lame, but I don't think it's lame. What gets you really mad? Oh God, um, I hate getting interrupted, one. Especially if I'm doing something. Like if I'm doing something and I have to keep stopping, I get really, really, really mad. And like my brain, like, I have a really short attention span as well. So if I'm focused on something or I'm trying to do something and people keep interrupting me, eventually I'll just say forget it and I won't do it and then I won't go back to doing it. It's like the worst habit I have, but I absolutely hate getting interrupted and I have a long, this is a lot of footage, but I'm not done answering these questions. <laughs> what challenging thing are you working through these days? I think the biggest thing is like the thing everybody else is working on, like try to be more of yourself and not worry about what other people are saying. Like, I think that's what everybody is working on, but I think that's like the biggest thing, especially with posting videos on the internet and making like, media, social media accounts and things like that. I think that's, you have to ignore people who are negative and I actually delete negative comments often off my videos because one, I don't want the negativity and I know other people don't want it either. So if, if I see a negative comment, I just delete it. I don't even care what they said, like half time, I don't even read it. Like I, I read like the first half, I'm like, no, delete. What's the best and worst piece of advice you've ever received? Um, <laughs> the best piece of advice I've ever received is, um, actually by James Basel. I mentioned him earlier. He tweeted me, I think last year, last year, the year before, something like that. I think it was last year. And I don't remember exactly what I said, but I said something about like wanting to do something that a lot of my friends didn't agree with. And he said, well, keep working, you know, dreams don't sleep, neither should you. And, um, you know, just stay true to yourself. I think that's the best advice ever. And I think about what he said every time I'm thinking about like not posting a video or something like that. And then the worst piece of advice I've ever received was actually from my dad. And he said that D means degree because I got a D on a math test once and I was really upset. And he was like, well, D means degree. And I'm like, it's so funny, but like, it's the worst piece of advice I've ever received. What's the last adventure you went on? The last adventure I went on, um, the last one I can think of was me. I have this little curtain thing and it's not, flat against the wall there we go um the last venture i went on the one that i can think of is me my best friend and one of my other best friends they have the exact same name so i know you know who you are uh we all three went to a state park um south from where we live southern indiana i know a lot of you guys know i live in indiana but it was southern indiana we went to versailles national park or state park and um we spent the whole day together. We had like a picnic, we went on a hike, we went um, kayaking, which was like super, super awesome. Like I loved kayaking and I, I never thought I would, like I was scared to do it, but I honestly loved it so much. And we went hiking and we spent like the whole, we went swimming, we spent the whole day together. Like the whole day, like from like 7 a.m. to like 9 p.m., like the whole day. And we stopped at Subway on the way home because we were starving and we ate all of our food. And we hiked up the dam in Versailles Park. I don't know if you've ever been there, but if you're from Indiana, you might have been. And um, I had never been prior to, I went twice over the summer, but I had never been before. And it was super awesome. Like it was just like, the biggest adventure ever, we climbed this really, really steep hill that like my legs felt like noodles afterwards, but uh, it was awesome and I had so much fun and it was something like so random, like we were just like, let's go and we went and it was, it was awesome and I had more fun kayaking than I did anything else, like I loved it. What do you like most about your family? I like the most about my family is how 
funny we all are. And we're funny in almost an appropriate way. <laughs> um, we will make fun of each other like no other. And um, we will say something like, oh yeah, like you remember this? And like, it's really funny. But we're, people would probably think we're mean to each other, but we're not. We're just, we all get our sense of humor. So like, I, that's the best thing. What is your favorite number? My favorite number is 16. Which of your scars is the best story behind it? I have a lot of scars. I'm, I was a clumsy kid. This one on my finger, I don't know if you can see it. You kind of can, it's right here. Um, uh, my dad has these barrels. We call them, they're, they're drums, but they're barrels, just in case you don't know. And they're he has metal and he has plastic. Well, when I was a kid, this was my fourth, I was in fourth grade, um, fourth grade. <laughs> and uh, when I was a kid, I was in the garage and I shouldn't have done this, but I did and I learned my lesson. And he would cut the tops off with like a giant can opener, but the inside, because it's metal, is really, really sharp. And I spun it like this, like to move it and like swing on it at the same time. And I ended up like filleting my finger like this and it was hanging on like a thread, it's kind of nasty. And I started like bleeding everywhere and I was in the house or in the garage with um, my neighbor who was also in the same grade as me and she starts like freaking out, like screaming. And so I didn't know I was bleeding at the time. So I looked down and then I started freaking out because I saw all this blood. So I ran inside to the kitchen and I was like, mom, I'm bleeding. And, like. And my mom put my finger underneath the faucet to like wipe the blood off because she couldn't see what was wrong. And like my finger just kind of like flayed open like this. And my mom took me to the emergency room. We went, actually went to three hospitals because the first one wouldn't see me because of my insurance. They wouldn't take my insurance. And then the second one, I sat there for like three hours and they still didn't see me. And like I had gauze like wrapped around my finger like this. And I was like, the blood was like dripping onto the floor from my finger. Like I was bleeding that much. And they, after I sat there for three hours, they said they didn't have time to see me. So then I went to a different one that was like 30 minutes away from where I was. And they saw me. I ended up getting like seven stitches in my finger and... Yeah, now my dad doesn't cut the tops off the drums anymore. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it was it was kind of embarrassing, but that's what happened. And then this one, the scar right here, if you can see this. I was wearing these boots. This was two years ago. And I was wearing these boots that, like, laced up the back. And they were really, really cute boots. But they were pain in the neck to put on because, like, you literally had to, like, lace them up the back. And I was wearing them. And they came untied because they were always coming untied. No matter how tight I tied them, they would come untied. And I stepped on the shoelace and I tripped and I burnt my hand on the crock pot that my mom had um, stuff cooking in and like it burnt my skin off. Like it burned it off and I have a scar right there from me hitting the crock pot. So yeah, <laughs> very clumsy. What do people think is weird about you? Probably everything. <laughs> I'm really weird. But um, I'm, I'm slowly becoming okay with being weird because being weird is awesome and you, nobody want, nobody is like normal and if people act normal, they're acting like not themselves and I think everybody has weird things about them and this thing is driving me nuts and I think people think what's weird about me is that a lot of people don't know this but a lot of people who do know this think it's really, really weird. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with dogs. Like, dogs were my thing. And I used to check out books at the library about dogs. And um, I wanted to do something with dogs when I was older. I can't remember exactly what now. But um, I would, like, look them up and research each individual dog by themselves. And, like, akc.org was, like, my thing. And I don't do this anymore, but I can still look at a dog to this day and tell you what breed it is. Like, I'm like, oh, that's a beagle. And like, it's like the weirdest thing. And people ask me all the time who do know me, they're like, oh, what type of dog is that? And I'm like, oh, that's a basset hound. Like, <laughs> and like, people are always like, how do you know this? I'm like, I used to spend hours looking up dogs and like the different differences between dogs because my mom was a, a vet technician for 16 years so I was always around dogs so I just thought like you know that's what people did but now that I'm older I notice how weird that was <laughs> and two how like it's almost pointless because now my mom's not a vet tech anymore and um I don't really need to know all the different types of dogs but I do <laughs> and like it's like the weirdest thing because I will see a dog and be like oh that's a Maltese like it's like and people were like, oh yeah, that's right. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's weird and um, yeah, it's it's weird. <laughs> but uh, I'm good at it, I guess. People always ask and when I'm out in public with like, one of my friends and they see a dog and they're like, oh, what type of dog is that? And I'm like, well, um, <laughs> for real. I'll just be like, oh, it's a Yorkie. <laughs> like it's like, it's the weirdest thing, but I do it all the time. What have you created that you were most proud of? Besides the obvious answer, the YouTube channel, um, 
I created this uh, picture with song lyrics on it, and it's a song lyric from Cry by James Bazo. I can find it and link it down below if you want to listen. And um, it says, I lost me by wanting you, I lost me by wanting truth. And I, at that part of the song stood out to me because I think it's just like the truest thing ever and like it's really deep. So I made an art picture, like a canvas. I can post it on my Instagram if you guys want me to. And I had the lyrics on there and it's like sponge painted with blue because it's like blue, it's called Cry. And it's, it's, I'm so proud of it and I'm so, so happy I did it and yeah. What do you regret not doing when you were younger? Um, I regret not ignoring people. I was bullied when I was younger, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. And uh, I, I regret not ignoring them, and I regret deleting my channel because of them. Like, it was just such, it's such a silly thing to do. And like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, why did I do that? You know, like, but I did, and there's something that can change that. What is the best thing you got from your parents? Uh, my clear skin is the best thing I got from my parents. Neither one of my parents really broke out when they were younger and I never break out unless I use a product that irritates my skin. And that is honestly a blessing. Like it is the best thing ever. <laughs> All right, I'm in the, I'm nearing the end of the question. So this like hour long video <laughs> will be coming to an end, I promise. What would be your spirit animal? I think a wolf would be my spirit animal. One, I love wolves. And two, they're just like, they're so interesting. The way they have like roles in their packs and they all know which role they are and which role everybody else is as well. It's like the coolest thing ever. And I used to have to, when I was in, I was environment, I'm an environmental science major. So maybe this is the environmental science major part of me talking, but we had to do a research project about wolves in Yellowstone National Park. And so I had to watch like two documentaries that were each like two hours long about wolves and honestly that sounds really really boring but it wasn't that boring um I like documentaries again I'm a dork but um I watched them with my roommate so that way I had somebody keep me entertained but um we uh had to watch these like I said and we had to write a report on wolves and what we noticed by watching them and then we had to research them and then notice if our operations were correct or wrong and th it was just like a lab report and I did mine for extra credit because I had already watched two documentary we had to watch documentaries for points but I did mine for extra credit because if there's any extra credit options you need to take it especially when I didn't do so well in the last test that's like the real reason I did it but sh <laughs> and um uh I think it's just like the coolest thing ever and like I had to watch them you know observe them and things like that and they're really really interesting like I guess I never noticed how interesting they really are until I had to for like a class but they're really really interesting and uh they have different qualities each wolf is so different and like when I watched the documentary I think one was called like lone wolf or something like that the the alpha wolf or something I don't know um they were on Netflix I think they're off now because this was months ago but um they were on Netflix at the time one was and the other one we had to get a link from, from our professor but um they all like knew what each other's role was and it was like they had it was a hierarchy obviously like a family and they all worked together and this one guy it was a scientist who um went to up north around the arctic circle for one of them and he made the wolves like trust him and he had to get close to them and he was trying to study these wolves that were never around people and he made observations and stuff like that like they, they're just so cool and i think that that's just i feel like that would be my spirit animal because like they're just i don't know i really like them i think they're really interesting <laughs> Again, I'm a science, I'm an environmental science major, so this may not surprise some of you because you knew I was an environmental science major, but that is what my major is if you guys wanted to know. How do you hope you'll change the person in the future? Um, I hope I'm not as shy in the future. That's another reason I started YouTube is to kind of come out of my shell. But I hope I'm not as shy and I hope that, um, yeah, I'm better at like you know, being more talkative with, with people I don't know. If I'm, if I know you really well, I, t I will talk your ear off. But if I don't know you really well, I'm pretty quiet and awkward. What bridges do you not regret burning? Uh, I was friends in middle school, especially with a lot of girls who were really, really, really drama driven. And they were all about, you know, drama and having drama within themselves and getting in everybody's business and starting fights and arguments, things like that. And I 
that's like the bridges I don't burn I don't regret burning them because I don't really talk to them anymore and I noticed like in middle school I was so caught up like in the drama of their lives that like I missed out on like so much and I actually stopped being friends with them my freshman year of high school and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made how do you get in the way of your own success uh I doubt myself a lot I think a lot of people do that but I doubt myself and I second guess everything like I will edit a video for instance because I know that's what you guys watch so like I'm trying to like relate to what you guys know and I'll be second guessing it the whole time or I will do something like environmental science <laughs> and um I will second guess it like we had to do a lab for our one of our final labs last semester and it was we had to test water out of the pond at our university and I was so like I, I tested the pH level and I think it was like seven, seven. I think that was a pH. I can't remember off the top of my head. And um, I tested it and I got you know the answer and I was like, oh, that's not right. But then another guy in my group tested it. He's like, no, that is right. And I'm like, uh, but is it really? Like, <laughs> I, I second guess myself all the time. Right, last question is, who was your best friend in elementary school? Um. I'm glad this is the last question. This video is going to take me forever to edit because I have so much footage. Best friend in elementary school is actually my best friend now. We've been friends since we were in fifth grade. And I think the second part says, how did you meet? We were in the same uh, class. And that's how we met. And we actually now go to the same university. She's my college roommate. And um, yeah, people say that's a bad thing to room somebody you know. And yeah, we do argue a lot. But uh, um yeah, she's my best friend and like with any best friends you're gonna argue like that's just how it is and I think uh, we both have a really weird awkward sense of humor and I think that's why we get along so well is because if one of us annoys the other one we'll just like throw some sarcastic comment in their face and move on and again I bet our um, next door neighbors in our dorms uh, probably think we're really mean to each other but we're really not I mean we'll say like mean sarcastic things to each other but we both know we're kidding I think best friends are just always like that with each other I know she watches these videos so she's gonna be like that's me but um yeah <laughs> So, uh, I'm gonna go edit this video because I have like an hour and something worth of footage. So, hopefully I can cut this down. But thank you guys for getting to know me a little bit. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.